I'm Bill Mays for the Crumb Church of Christ, and it is my pleasure to bring you today's stepping stone here on Wednesday, May the 25th of the year 2022. And today's stepping stone is entitled Life's Added Dimension. In Genesis 47, verse 8, we find, And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How many years have you lived? Jacob's answer was, A hundred and thirty. You know, before people are 20 and after they're 80, they seem to enjoy telling their age, but between age 20 and 80, people prefer not to talk about it. We haven't learned that there is more to life than years. Life has various dimensions. For instance, life has length to be sure, and length is important. There must be some length to achieve anything. The baby that is born today and dies tomorrow does not accomplish anything. The child has no time to show his or her capacity. Many men and women have done their best work after they have passed the age of 60. But a long life is not necessarily a productive one. Some burn the candle at both ends. Others never even light it. Life has width. We live in an age of specialization, and that has its good points. Many people are brilliant in their own narrow specialization, but they're ignorant of everything else. Life also has the dimension of height. You can't determine how tall a person is by standing them against the door and measuring their accomplishments to date. You have to take into consideration what they can become, their ambition, their resolve. God doesn't look at us as a finished product. God looks at us with a view of what we can become. You see, there is this added dimension of life that God gives, and it's called death. Reminds me of a well. And so life has this dimension of death. The depth of one's knowledge of the Word of God is very important. Let's look at a very special passage of Scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 14. There Paul writes, For this reason I bend my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives his name, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and height and death, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to all the fullness of God. I pray that you too might know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, and that the, the length and breadth and height and depth that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God in your own life. I just wish you to be complete in God. Now, if the Crumb Church of Christ can be of any help to you spiritually, we invite you to contact us and let us know how we can be of help to you spiritually. Go to our website, find our email address, and please contact us. We'd also want to invite you 
to be present with us this coming Lord's Day for Bible study at 930, worship at 1030. We would love for you to be our guest. May God bless you. And we pray that this lesson has been helpful to you.